So this is a sort of um, homemade, or partially homemade stereo. Um, yeah, so there's the, there's the actual stereo itself. I got four 6x9s, those came out of a Chrysler 300. Those ones came out of a uh, Toyota Corolla. Ironically, the Corolla had larger drivers. I got those around the room. They somehow sound alright, even though those are made of freaking paper. Um, and there are these. These, these. This is where the money is. Uh, there's two 12s running at 1200 RMS each. And that's a, uh, I think, 1500 watt. No. 1300 watt power supply? Or, sorry, uh, uh, amplifier. I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, then there's this. Um, this is the stereo. It's a piece of crap. It's like a little housing. I sort of made this out of it's what quarter inch wood it's uh <laughs> two different types of wood three different types of wood there's oak and i'm pretty sure that's birch but the stain didn't work at all it look, looks awful but it all runs off 12 volt um and you know put two and two together computer power supply 12 volt and then uh the stereos run off 12 volt too so it's like whoa 12 volt oh my god but it actually worked and it powers these surprisingly well and then there's just this this mess, this supreme mess of wire. It's lovely. It's art. It's art. But yeah, these get pretty loud. Check it. Hold on. Uh, some game B now. Uh, if you want to know how to piss off your parents, that's how you do it. <laughs> um, and there are these. These are little tactile transducers. I haven't hooked them up because they're stupid. They actually work though. Not long ago, I had a 600 watt amp that I hooked up uh, alongside that, and that one kept cutting out. I don't know if you noticed during the music, but it cut out just because. Uh, power supply is crappy. Anyway, um, but yeah, I was impressed how that turned out. I was actually shocked it worked. But uh, yeah. <laughs>